What's up dudes, Chooch back with another video and today we're looking at this right here. So this is my new favorite everyday carry backpack right here. And this is just the Osprey Daylight. I'll see you right there. And this is a 13 liter pack and this thing is killer. It's everything I wanted. Super, super lightweight, super, super comfortable. No BS on it, no knickknacks, no fooling around with anything you don't need, no fiddling with any type of BS. This thing fits the need that I was looking for. And I usually don't say that about backpacks, but this thing is everything. I got it modified with my flashlight right up here on the top. This thing is perfect. So let's check it out and I'll show y'all what it's about. This, this pack right here that I picked up the other day is awesome. I really, really enjoy it. And it's just the, it's not the most expensive pack I've ever had. It's not, it's not, you know, a nice name brand like many of the other packs I have like Maxpedition or anything like that. But it's, it's, it's simple and it's really lightweight and the, I mean, it just, it works, you know? And, and that's, that's key, you know, I want something that's lightweight, something that works, and I don't want the pack itself to be weighing almost three or four pounds, you know, before we even get to adding any contents to it, because I do end up taking a lot of stuff with me. And as you see, you know, it's, I mean, it's a pretty casual wearing pack, and um, I picked this thing up on sale for 30 bucks. It's a great pack. I did a little bit of modifications to it, uh, just to kind of make it, you know, that much better. I did my first ride the other day with it and I was super, super impressed because the pack I'd been riding with before you saw it was the same color as this. It was actually the uh, the North Face Recon. I'll show you that one. So this is the pack that I was riding with uh, before y'all saw me on a lot of my rides. And this is a great pack. I've had this pack for um, since 2015 and I've really used this thing a lot and it's worn great. Um, you know, it looks good still and I, I still recommend this pack a lot. I, I even still have it linked below, but um, this is just too big, you know, and the pack itself is heavy. The pack itself, even picking this up now, I'm, I can't believe that I rode with this thing for as long as I did just because of how, I mean, this thing, it just feels like it's two and, a, two and a half pounds before you even get started. So with this, the cool thing about it is it's lightweight, but there is still a nice frame inside of it. So I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna show you all that real quick to go ahead and start with. So there's a nice frame in the pack, in the back right here, and they really slimmed it down. It's literally just like, Check this out. So right in the back right here. So check that out. So right in the back right there. See that? That's like just a little reinforced piece of plastic. It's honestly all the frame in the bag back there. And so it's simple. You got a little layer, a little thin layer of padding back there. And then that reinforcement goes up your spine and it just works. It feels good. And then in the back right here, you, ha you actually have a place where you can put a hydration bladder in. I don't have one, but this is my water bottle, and I'm gonna get to showing y'all that when we get to the tabletop over here. So on the top right here, what I did, if y'all see this flashlight on the top, so I love Olight flashlights. I carry one every day on my side, and I also wanted to be able to take one on the top right here. If, um, you know, if I'm going on an adventure, I, I can just throw it in this pouch, and then I can just take it out, put that right in there if, I, if need be. And then I can just take the light out if I don't want to have it on there. You know, it's not much weight added to it, but I can take the light right off. And then this is easily accessible, you know, right on the outside. And I just added that with zip ties right there. And I'll, I do all kind of modifications to all kind of stuff. And I always use zip ties. Zip ties are great. So definitely, I mean, you can really outfit this thing to however you want. It looks good, you know, throw it down. And the cool thing I like about this pack is it's super gray, man. And by what I mean by that, like if you're going for a gray man pack, you don't want to have something, um, if you get a lot of these like peak designs and a lot of these expensive Maxpedition packs and stuff like that, um, it stands out and it says, dude, I got a lot of gear in my bag. I got some nice stuff and um, you don't want people snagging your bag and taking it. This, everybody has these type of bags. You know, you have this just sitting off to the side and it's not going to really scream, hey, I got, you know, a thousand dollars worth of camera gear sitting here or something like that. But um, so let's just get into it and I'll show you all what I carry for my everyday carry and uh, how I outfit this bag because there's not much organization, but we can fix that. You know, they make all kind of cool stuff. Let's check it out. All right guys, so getting in, into this pack a little bit more in detail, right on the front right here, just like a lot of, a lot of your main packs, you know, um, this is, I, I love 
uh, videos where I can kind of hear in the material. I can kind of get a good idea of the thickness of it and whatnot. So, you know, this is kind of up close, kind of what you're dealing with with the um, material right here. It seems really sturdy. It is waterproof. I've spilled like a whole gallon of water on top of this back and it just beat it right off, no problem. So on the front right here, you got these nice zipper pulls and I don't really, I'm not afraid to really pull on these, you know? It feels like they're uh, quite solid zip, zipper pulls that'll break in over time. And uh, right in the front right here, you got two mesh pockets that are great, or I mean, for throwing little stuff in there, it's perfect. It's all you could want while still remaining lightweight. You know, once you go adding all kinds of stuff, that's where all the weight comes from. So you can throw what you really, the basics in here. Yeah, right in here, I just got, um, if you see me, see me around or whatever on the unicycle, I, um, I made business cards because people always ask, you know, what's up with the, with the unicycle. So I got chooch cards in here if you, uh, uh, actually with the new ones if you scan them well with the new ones I got QR codes on them so if you scan them it takes you straight to the, the page and whatnot so these are the old ones but anyways um, I got some cards in there and then if, if I give you a card I got some um, some pop sockets I'll give you a pop socket and uh, some stickers too so a pop socket and some stickers too so I keep that in there so if anybody says what's up on the street you know a little uh, little incentive right there for them to, to come back to the channel you know right in here I just keep uh, the basics for you know the, the day uh, charging cable for the phone and then I just have some um, earbuds in case my Bluetooth earbuds go dead and then some just really good lip balm I love this stuff this is the uh, Jack Black lip balm Jack Black makes some awesome stuff some like uh, good um, men's like facial cream good like men's uh, stuff you know I really like their products And then in here, yeah, these are just my Jaybirds, man. These things have been going forever. I still use them. I've had these since 2015. Still rock with them, you know. Um, I could get AirPods, but those do the same thing. And then these, the cool thing about these is that I can just throw these right around my neck, you know. If I'm if I'm going to the airport or something and I need to take them out, I just throw these right around my neck, you know. Old school Jaybird X2s, still rocking, man. Still rocking. Still got them. So that's good. And then I just keep the... Uh, a charging chuck in there for quick access and then on this I got a uh, little copper Olight I, I told y'all I love Olight that was that's what's on that on the outside is this is the um, show you know, this this is the Olight Seeker 2 and this is actually a limited edition version right here so this I love Olight so this is the um, sweet pretty sweet light right here this thing is bright guys so and then double tap like super super bright light so Good peace of mind to have, and um, yeah, that's why I, um, you know, made that for the top of it right there. I carry the same holster on my side right here. Um, this is, you know, part of my everyday carry right here. So that's the the Olight Warrior, and I, I mean, this this light's awesome. I just that the, that light pretty much. This one's a little bit brighter, but it just doesn't have as good of throw as this. And by throw, I mean just the distance it goes. This is more of just a, um, you know, just to be able to see wide angle around you. This is more of a thrower and tactical. So by tactical light, by um, tactical light is going to have a tail switch on it. It also has a side switch, but um, this this isn't classified as a tactical light because it doesn't have a tail switch so um, that's just the difference in it so you see that this it only has a side switch right here so that's the uh, difference if you ever hear somebody talk about a tactical flashlight so with this right here you can just do a media on mode for bright right there boom pretty cool and then you got your strobe mode on here as well which you know that one that one does not have a strobe mode so um Pretty cool though. So I always carry a good O light, and those have the new 21700 cells in it. So most of my EEC flashlights used to have the 18650 rechargeable cells. These have 21700 cells, like the new electric unicycles do, the upgraded ones, and they are great. The 21700 cells are phenomenal, man. Those are a powerhouse of a battery. I tell you that. So very cool. And um, so so right on here, like I was saying, this is just a little O light. Keep it right on here if I need to see in the dark or something if I'm out. And this comes in handy, man. I can just look right in here. I had this on, on every one of my old bags. And I've just pretty much transferred it over. And I always put it on this little um, key ring, this cheap little key ring keeper they have in here. And then this right here is just the top to this water bottle. So you'll see this 
this right here is pretty cool. The actual um, inventor of this water bottle sent this to me, and I kind of delayed on making the video, but this thing is great, guys. Y'all probably see me with it attached to my bag um, sometimes. And the reason it's called the, the I call it the MODL, I call it the model water bottle. It's probably not how you pronounce it. But um, the cool thing about this is um, you can get different mods for it. And so this, this is the pure mod, and um, I added a little bit of an extension to it. But whenever I'm out on my rides, um, I can end up out on a long, long ride, you know, and I can end up going through all my water. And having this is nice because if I need to, I can pack it down flat like that. And then I can put the, the top on it and it'll stay sealed and it'll pack down just like that. It'll pack down flat, which is which is great. But um, I really like th this feature. With this, you can buy this from model or whatever it is. But all this is really is just a Sawyer uh, squeeze filter. And you know, with some tubing, you can make your own or whatever. But you, if you wanna go ahead and just get the set, you can get the set. It connects right in there. And the cool thing that really helps it along if, if you're using it like a normal water bottle, and that was that's the cap that I have in, on here. It just I clipped that on there. It's an easy way to keep it. You know, it's not going to come out of there. But the cool thing that I do that I like about this is if you do just use it like a water bottle, you can squeeze this, you know, and you can really get the water flowing through that filter, you know, and the filter does work. It works great. Uh, the only thing I got to work up, worry about is it freezing because, you know, I'm supposed to let these free, these filters freeze and I ride in such cold conditions that um, sometimes my, all my water will freeze. So um, I think I'm going to get like an electric uh, hand warmer or something like that to keep near my water bottle so I don't, it doesn't freeze up on my rides. Um, one way to overcome that though is just doing the hydration bladder in the back because your body temperature will keep it warm. But having this on the side actually will freeze um, if I do a long enough ride. So um, that's one thing to watch out for because it, if it freezes, I think what, what happens is those little microbial filters in there, the way they work is you don't want them to pop because I think the water, you know, like anything like a freeze in a hose or anything like that will cause the filter to get damaged. So, so that's just one thing. But I keep that on there and it's just super convenient. If I can remember to do it for my rides, I love having the um, hose on here, you know, so I don't have to stop and take it off. And if I'm riding with a sling bag, see that's the benefit. If I'm riding with a sling bag, I can just have it like a normal water bottle. I can sling the bag around, take the, the water bottle off and drink from it. Um, with a backpack, I don't want to be going in and out of my backpack and taking it off. Because usually if I'm riding, I got it strapped up and everything kind of level, you know, like the way I want it and I want to keep it that way. And so that's where the, the hose comes in handy. And I just have that kind of looped through the, the back right there. Um, I really do like this pack, guys. I'm telling you. So on the sides right here, I definitely think that a, uh, a Nalgene bottle will fit in here, no problem. If you have a one of the more slim water bottles, there's really there's a little bit of mesh in here, but it's not really keeping it, you know, too tight. Uh, you might have to come up with some sort of modification, or either loop this through the top of the water bottle and clip it in, or something like that to keep it from slipping. But um, for my water bottle, it holds fine. Like it doesn't, it's not coming out, so that's perfect. I don't have anything else left in there. But this is just because of the nature of this thing. It's it's all silicone, so it really holds in, in there quite well. Um, but I have seen with this pack, people have to do some other modifications due to the nature of these water bottle pockets. Um, but getting into the main compartment right here, you know, uh, there is, it's kind of um, quite simple on the, on the main compartment, guys. There's really not much to talk about in here, but this, you got a nice little laptop sleeve. You can fit you can fit the iPad Pro in here. You can squeeze like a 13 inch um, laptop in here. It's gonna be like puffed out on the sides a little bit and be like expanded kind of like that, but you can squeeze a 13 inch like MacBook in there if you need to, but it's not ideal. This will be better for like an iPad or something like that. And it does go all the way to the bottom. So there's nothing to really block um, the laptop from slamming into the ground or anything like that you're wondering about that you know how some uh, that actually hurt you know how some um, lap, uh, backpacks like that other one that North Face Recon actually has a uh, an elevated laptop sleeve so if you sit the backpack down it has something hard down, a um, extender so your laptop's not the first thing to hit um, that's one thing this does not have which you know is part of the lightweight feature of this backpack um, one thing that I, I, I do in here is um, 
everything that's in this main compartment is all segmented into different little bags. You know, everything in here has its own little pack. Um, so I just rock with this. This is the um, med kit. I always keep a med kit in my, my carry bag whenever I'm riding. Good to have basic stuff, you know, you get it with the wound. Um, this is my go-to. This little guy, I've had this forever. Um, this is just my Max Expedition Everyday Carry pouch. And I'll link the video um, to this, or either I'll have this, I have the video to this right after this video. Because if I went into this, this would just be way too long. Um, but y'all need to check out the contents of this bag, guys, because it is great. And you've, I fit so much in this little, little thing. And it's so organized in here. And I can just grab this and put it in any bag that I need to. And even if, even if um, I need to take this out of a bag and throw it in, in my cargo pockets or something like that, I can do that. You know, I can throw it in a jacket pocket. I can take it out of that bag and then throw this in here and I have pretty much all the contents of what I need um, just that easy, you know, segmented down. Granted, this thing is a little bit heavy, but it does fit my cargo pocket perfectly. It fits in there absolutely perfectly and then I can grab it out. Um, and this is the pocket organizer. So check out the video right after this one. It's going to come up in the little tab at the end of it. And you can see the contents of this pack. And here, this, I use these uh, Topo Designs little bags right here. These are great for like, um, just like tool bags or cables or anything like that. And this is my simple little work kit right here. I keep this so simple, guys. Um, for working on the electric unicycle and sometimes if I'm going on a long ride What I'll do is I'll throw like a um, thing of armadillos or tire slime or something like that in my bag as well But for most stuff, this is the three things I need to work on my electric unicycle right here And um, this is basically a this is a little bike pump right here I can extend this and then this is a valve extender too. If I'm riding um, one of my M Supers, uh, it's kind of tricky to get to. So I just screw this on and then I connect it to this and then I can just pump it up freely. Um, and then I got just a simple, simple multi-tool. This is just the Gerber um, suspension right here. And I used to have a better multi-tool, but it got stolen by somebody. But this one's great. Um, actually for 20 bucks, I think this is like 25, 30 bucks. It's even better than the other one that I had that was like 70. So, um, this thing's great. I think it's the Gerber suspension in, um, NXT. So that's a great little multi-tool and I can do pretty much everything I need to do, uh, you know, on the go. There's pretty much all the maintenance that I would want to do on the go. You know, if something really gets bad out there, I'm just pushing it back and calling it Uber. Uh, if I got to really get down to breaking stuff down. But for the maintenance that I would do on the trail, I can pretty much do it with this stuff in here. And that's simple. And I can grow on this if I need to. Um, and then I just keep a uh, thermal blanket in there. I picked this up after I almost got stranded out, out in, the, in the cold one night. Thermal blanket, just keep that in there for the backup. And then keep the, um, this is just from Whole Foods, just a, a extra, one of the grocery bags, you know. This just expands into a bigger bag. If I need to go somewhere and I need to get something else and I can't fit it in this pack, then I can just pull this bag out and then I got, you know, a decently strong bag to, to haul it in. So that's pretty cool right there. And um, that's about it. That's about all for the contents of this. Um, it's a great bag, you know. It has a lot of room. And the main thing I love about this thing for riding, uh, the unicycles that I did, is better than all the other bags is so this on the bottom it kind of looks a little bit goofy i'll be honest with you the way this bottom is shaped but the way this is shaped is it keeps all of the contents that are heavy on the bottom kind of pushed up and angled in a way that really disperses it well and this is probably the most comfortable pack that i've worn you know on, on rides or for hiking or for just walking around or for everyday purposes um, this pack is great. I've gone through so many different backpacks, you know, in order to really find a good one that I like and nothing has stood out to me in I'd say probably like two or three years of something I genuinely found that was like, okay, this is something I'm going to roll with no matter what. This is going to be my go-to bag. So, um, simple guys. And it was something cheap too. It didn't have to be an expensive bag. It's not something that's, um, you know, it's not something that's going to be hard to find. And the cool thing about this bag is it's probably going to keep making it for years to come. So uh, just the Osprey Daylight. It's great, man. I'm probably going to keep using this thing for a while. I'm probably going to keep using it um, 
for a lot of my rides probably throughout the winter time even into the summertime i think it'll be a great summer pack all year round you know no matter what it feels good it's comfortable it has so right here you can really but whenever i'm riding i really go all out and cinch it down well you know what i'm saying and um so the cool thing the cool thing I like about this pack is they didn't really overdo what they didn't have to overdo. You just strap this thing up right there on the bottom and top where you need to right there. And, you're, and this thing is locked in. You are so locked in. This feels so good, man. So if you're on a ride or anything and you have any decent weight in here, you just do that. And it's not no oversized crud or anything. It just works. This thing just works. It's perfect. They nailed it. It fits the body like a glove. I, I love it. It's a great pack. It really is. It really is. They nailed it. They nailed it with this pack. All right, so check this out. This is a really cool mod I did on the back side of this thing. So back here, because I'm using a water bottle and I didn't use a uh, hydration pouch, what I did is I just threw this in the back right here. And this is just a uh, solar charger. It's just a, this is the Blavor solar charger. And I love this thing. I've had this for a while. Um, it, it's not the fastest thing in the world to charge, but it does charge in, in the sun. And if you needed to use it in a pinch, it'd be better than nothing. And it'll do a full charge if you have like direct sunlight. It'll do a full charge in a, a day um, if you have it in direct sunlight and it's really cooking. Um, if it's overcast, it's about three days for it to fully charge. But you get two lights on this thing, and these last forever. I let this run, and it, it ran for three days straight just on these lights just burning, and I think it still had like half charge left. So this thing does work, it is good. I have tested it, and I just hooked this on there. I had some um, extra cables that came with the water bottle, and what I can do is just literally just flop this over the back, and that just literally hangs down like that, and then it'll solar charge while I'm out riding just hangs down good to go you know it might spin around or something but for the most part just something easy and simple and then I can tuck it away it goes right back whenever I don't need it to charge so that's out of the way and it's so out of the way I even forgot to film that and had to come back and do it so and then on the back right here check it out um, th you can actually just charge your phone if you have a wireless wireless phone uh, wireless charging on your phone just sit your phone on top of it i don't have my phone in my pocket right now but just sit your phone on the top top of it and it does work and it works through a case it works through a thick case i got the otter box on it and it even works through that so wireless charging you don't even need a cable literally and if you're somewhere the cool thing about having this on the back is you throw your lay your pack down somewhere stick that down and then just charge your phone on it and then nobody's going to take it or anything it's just attached to your bag you know permanently and then you can just slip it right back here in the back, you know. So that's a cool method I did. You can hook it on there whatever whatever way you need to. But that just worked for me right there. And a little mod I did, you know, as long as well with the flashlight mod. So that's pretty cool, guys. And, uh, you know, don't be afraid to try to modify your backpack and make it work a little bit better for whatever you're doing. You know, you can really make it work for yourself. So do some mods to it. So it's been a long time since I found something like this that I can really, really just, you know, call, call my pack, you know, and then just got it outfitted the way I want. Got my flashlight right here. Uh, got the good model water bottle. I really appreciate y'all sending me out. Definitely check these out. Uh, model, great water bottles. I, I love this thing. I got the, um, you know, I, you know I, saw that I got my uh, top on here if I want, want to, if I want to throw that on there and just drink it like a normal water bottle. Or either I got it set up like that, which is easy, for, convenient for the rides. This thing's killer, dude. And I mean, it really it works good. They got all different colors, you know, to really meet whatever needs you you got out there. But um, I think this thing is great. So, anyways, it's been Chooch. If y'all enjoyed the video, throw it a thumbs up, and I will see y'all in the next one.